welcome back to my channel i have not done a youtube video in three years yes i look absolutely crazy right now but this is a real life and i'm gonna do like a whole week in my life today is sunday and i'm gonna film from today until next sunday so i was a bridesmaid yesterday in my friend's wedding and that's why i look like this i have not washed my hair i washed my face and i washed my body but I was not doing that because I literally had like a hundred bobby pins in my hair last night. So I just went to Hardee's. I got a cheese biscuit. If you don't have a Hardee's near you, then you're literally missing out because their biscuits, untouchable. Brows are hairy. Just excuse that, okay? Because I just I have not had time. But I'm about to get back in the house and probably just lay in bed, honestly, until it's time to get ran. Well, I'm actually going to go see my nephew across the street before I get Ren because he's jealous and I really can't do anything with my nephew while I have Ren. So, I'm going to do that and I'm going to go get Ren. We're going to come back here and then me and Hamp are going to go grocery shopping at Publix. And it's literally my favorite thing to do together. Like, going to Publix is... I can't even describe it. I just love it so much. And you're probably thinking, why Publix? In South Georgia, a lot of towns do not have a Publix. We have to drive probably like 30 minutes away just to go to it, but it is worth every second. They have the best food, and it is just top tier. There is only three more weekends until... Mm, four more weekends until I get married. And I have something to do every single weekend until then. This coming up weekend is my tea party. I'll film that. I have a school shower this week. It's dress up week at school for me and Ren. It's Dr. Seuss week. Um, the next weekend, I can't remember what I gotta do. There's something I gotta do. I can't remember. The 16th is my bridal luncheon, and then the 23rd is my wedding day. A few things I have to do this week. I need to go get my wedding dress altered. I know I'm four weeks away, but I've been on a diet. That cheese biscuit just didn't help, but I've been on a diet. I get that done. Still got to order last minute stuff because I'm a last minute person, but I'm on Amazon and it's going to be here in two days. So that's the perks of having Amazon Prime. And I know I look crazy because I have a spray tan. I don't really spray tan my face, so it's two different shades. But I'm going to fix my face before we go grocery shopping. Don't worry. I don't know what I keep doing my hands. I guess this is just feels Oco Taco talking to the back of my phone. But, yeah. So, I hope you enjoy the rest of the week of me filming. Now I'm doing laundry. It's literally the second worst chore, in my opinion. The first is washing dishes. Ah! I hate washing dishes. So, dishes and laundry are my least favorite things, but those, those are literally the most two important chores I feel like in the house. And I tend to slack on laundry, so I'm trying to get it done today. I've already washed two loads. It's the two loads. I typically put them on the couch and just fold them all together and then put it all up and then wash more loads. On Sundays, I mainly focus on Ren's clothes for the week. Because I just wash like a bunch of his clothes at once. So it really lasts longer than a week. But on some days, I tend to wash mainly his clothes. But I washed some of mine today. And now I'm going to wash Rin's. I had the same shirt on as yesterday. It's clean. So, that's all that matters. But anywho, um, I'm terrible at filming. If y'all can't tell, like I literally forgot to film my whole day. And this is supposed to be a week in the life. But right now, it's mine and Rin's. I got hemp on it now. Favorite night of the week when I do cook it, it's spaghetti. Ren loves spaghetti. And a fun fact about me is I do not eat anybody else's spaghetti but this recipe. I don't know if there's nothing special to it, but I just grew up like my mom was only, and that's the way I cook it now. And it's the only one I'll eat. I came home, did some laundry, vacuumed, steam mop, the whole living room and kitchen. I still have a whole table over there full of wedding gifts for one of my showers that I literally have nowhere they're gonna go. And then I have a shower tomorrow at school and then I have a bridal tea this Saturday. I don't have enough room for anything else. And there's still stuff in Hamp's truck for my other shower. It's Tuesday morning and I forgot to film a get ready with me, which I don't think I'm gonna do that any this week because it's really just impossible. I'm on a little back road right now, so I'm not going fast videoing. Um, today is my shower at school, my bridal shower, but I have a dress that I'm changing into later because I just don't trust myself going all day without getting something on my dress. And today is green day because it's Dr. Seuss week, so I'm just wearing my favorite sweatshirt. 
that says teach and Ren is wearing straps and today he woke up in such a good mood and last night he went to bed before 10 30 and I slept literally from 10 30 to my alarm and it was the best feeling ever I did not mean to turn the flash on but yes before anybody says something I wear my hair like this every single day because my hair is fried fried off without my extensions in and it looks horrible so i literally just put it in a clip every day to avoid putting heat on it so if you're wondering why i like the same, look the same every single day it's just because i'm trying to get my hair to come back to life now i am pulling in burger king to get me some breakfast because i am starving our uh burger king is like right across the street from mcdonald's so i just look at mcdonald's line and it's long and i just come to burger king Okay, so it is our lunch break, and this is who I share my lunch with every single day. Hello, and how are y'all? There's Riley. I am ready for my bridal shower. I just threw my hair up in a clip and put on this dress, and now I gotta go outside and do car riders, and then when I come back in, it'll be time to go to the library. Marley let me have one of her cherry cokes, so I would have to walk all the way to my car to get 50 cents because they're $1.50. And I had the dollar, but not going to see it. My makeup looks horrible. And these forehead lines are horrible. But I've never gotten anything done on my face. And I don't think I'm going to ever start. So, we're just going to be looking like this. Now, me and Ren are outside playing. Yeah, you keep it in the water. Ah! Are you kidding me? We are getting some vitamin C or vitamin D. Whichever one comes from the sun. They might both. I don't know. Um, and then I'm gonna go in the house and warm up spaghetti from last night. I don't know if y'all know, but leftover spaghetti is better leftover than the first night, in my opinion. And then hopefully he will go to bed at a decent time again tonight. Tuesday morning. So like, the only thing I have on my face, because I know people are gonna say, well, you have makeup on. The only thing I have on my face is a tin and moisturizer and mascara, so I don't look that dead. But my hair looks horrible, I know, but I have to wear it down Saturday, so I'm trying to wait till tomorrow to wash it, so that way it's perfect. I actually got up earlier today, and Ren was in a good mood again, and I'm gonna go get breakfast again. I don't go get breakfast every single day, but, me, when me and Hint went to public Sunday, I did not get any breakfast food, like a dodo bird. So, I just really don't have anything. I have yogurt, but I really wasn't feeling yogurt today because I'm starving. So, I'm going to go get me a biscuit and a soda. Or maybe I might get a water. I'm not sure yet. So, if you can't tell by the way I look, this afternoon has been something. I just took my hair up my clip. That's why I look like this. But I have a horrible headache. I took me to get a haircut. He did great. He never acts that good, but he did great. And then we went to leave. My car did not want to drive because it's saying low oil, which my low oil light sign is not on, but whatever. I hate this car. I'm ready to get a new one when we find one. And then, uh, well, that's really all that happened, but it just was not a good afternoon. And then I think today's a full moon because today has just been rank stank basically and so i just dropped ren off at church with my mother-in-law she brings him home she didn't really takes him to bring him home but i went through town so i just met her there and then uh, hamp got off early because he got stuck or either the sprayer didn't work or something in that effect so he's coming home and cooking us a good meal so that's literally the highlight of my day i'm definitely washing my hair tonight it has been a hot minute since i've done that so that's exactly like i'm going straight home and getting in the shower that way i can have a shower my hair blow dried and everything before rain comes home i don't like have days that you feel off and not yourself like i feel like i keep 
filming myself like I just feel like I'm giving myself the ick like I don't know today has just been a bad day and let's just normalize having bad days and not feeling yourself and just feeling like you're in a funk because that's me right now uh, I don't know like I just feel so off because today was so bad if you teach para pro coach anything in the school system you know that there are days that you're just like what did I sign up for and today was those days but the good ones outweigh the bad ones for sure but I'm just saying it's normal to have a bad day anyways I'm gonna try this again so I'm washing dishes and I just I don't know if I've already said that oh well I got these off my wedding registry somebody sent them to me and I don't know if y'all know about these but I may I'm just late to the game but I don't know what they're called but I already put them in my storefront because I just went on my interest my registry and just added uh, um my list thing for y'all but it's a seven piece set for a hundred dollars and honestly i don't think that's that bad because you get seven different pots and pans so basically you get seven different sizes all different sizes and this is how the hooks work so it comes like this Ta -da! and i really like this because you can store it so much more neatly than all them handles you know what i'm talking about being in the way you closing your cabinet and all that if you want a little pan bam sturdy my phone's down little pot bada bing bada boom so this is really cool and if you're an upcoming bride i would definitely put these on your registry registry yeah go put them on your registry your registry it's saturday morning this is literally me straight from bed and my hair my brother tells me I always look like Prince Charming off of Shrek, if you know, you know, and I really do. My hair is always horrible when I wake up, but yeah, uh, we don't have to leave. Reed's looking at me and the camera. We don't have to leave until 9.45, but it's 7.30, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready because, you know, having a toddler can't just get ready, like, in one time frame. It's multiple time frames, and now he's crinkling up a plastic cup, so... Let's go get this thing started. Yeah, my spray tan looks horrible. I mean, I haven't showered yet, but it's not looking any better. But it's okay. Last week, too, because one of my students said, Miss Addison, why does it look like you've been playing in the mud? I don't know. I don't know why it looks like I've been playing in the mud. We are on the way to my bridal luncheon. Rian did so good this morning. Got ready perfectly. My hair does not look good, but the weather, there was literally no sense in me putting my extensions in because they would have just fell and not look cute. So I just straightened my hair, which I never do. The tea party went great. Um, Ren, however, acted a way that he'd never act. He was so clingy to me. And I'm starting to think it was because of all those people there. I think he was overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed. It was just a lot but he went back home with Hans mama because i'm going to a pageant tonight and i tried taking him to this pageant two years ago and yes i know he wasn't even a year old yet but it was literally the worst experience because that's when he was still drinking bottles like formula and i just put warm water in like a thermos type i think they're called cork sickles they're like the i got like a big long one that you probably, i think it's like for a bottle of wine but i didn't use it for a bottle of wine but anyways, I put hot water in that before I left, so I didn't know how long the pageant would last, and that way it would stay hot. Well, I remember pouring it in the bottle, and he was screaming, crying, and it was so hot, so he couldn't eat it. So I had to run to the water fountain, and I know that's so nasty, but my baby was hungry, and put cold water in there just so he could eat his bottle. And it was literally just, who is this car pulling beside me? I'm at the salon, okay. Pause. So, I left the tea party, went to Mama's house, finished ordering stuff for the wedding. I'm real concerned because this place is not open. Ordered stuff for the wedding, and then now I'm at the salon, and Natalie is going to fix my hair. Um, there is red that's stuck in my hair that we cannot get out, but she's uh, not to her doings. From her doings well, however you said that so she's gonna pop a full on that so it can start brightening up before my wedding and then we're gonna go eat mexican with amber and copa jade and then go to the pageant and this mexican here like this is my hometown that i'm in and it's the best mexican ever and where i live now we do not have a mexican restaurant i mean we do but i don't even count it because it's not good and so i never get to eat this mexican so like, when i do it is literally just so special and so good and i'm just so excited
see why I never wear my hair down. Because there's nothing to it. I have no hair. My hair's fried off. Like, this is just horrible. I'm... Oh, God. There was this man walking by. I thought he was walking up to my window, but he wouldn't. So, sorry about that. But, I'm thinking about chopping it off. Ow. After the wedding and uh, starting over, even though I don't want to. But, I feel like this is just not healthy hair. I don't know. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just not cute. Or maybe I just need to get some vitamins. I don't know. I need something to help me out. I want to do like one huge haul on everything that I got off my registry and like for my wedding. I think I'm going to make a YouTube video on that. I just don't want people thinking I'm bragging or anything like that. Because if you know me, you know I don't brag because I no but i think i'm gonna do that that way i can have like a idea for a youtube video and then i have a 500 dollars cart on amazon for last minute wedding stuff and i think i'm gonna do a tiktok and a youtube video on that and link everything so i don't care if people see it before my wedding because it ain't gonna change the fact because i'm still gonna use it no matter if somebody else copies me or whatever i don't care that kind of stuff anyways if somebody does copy me Anywho, I have like Flower Girl stuff in there, my wedding shoes, my wedding earrings that come from Amazon. Because let me tell y'all, I did not think that wedding earrings were like important, like to order ahead of time. Oh, they are, because the ones I want and thought I had plenty of time to order are from Israel. So they would not even be here in time. So I'm gonna go with the Amazon specials and see if I like them. I don't know. I really think that a lot of y'all are gonna be very surprised at my dress like very surprised just know it's real classy and you don't see it often i pray he does not get my athletic ability because bless his heart he won't be on no teams or get picked for nothing there's a lot of things i am but athletic <laughs> that ain't one of them please look at him being so dramatic this is ham everybody what's up <laughs> he's cooking us a boston butt today it's five o'clock and Ren just went to bed. So it's gonna be a very long night. And that's the dishwasher making that noise. It's gonna be a very long night if he does wake up. But I am on the computer looking for somewhere for a honeymoon because we have literally changed our mind 5,000 times and we just cannot decide on a place. First, we were going to Montana, then we were going to Tennessee, and then while I go, we said we kind of want to go to the beach. We're not gonna fly anywhere. Um, because Ham's a farmer and he says he will have a crop in the ground and he don't want to leave the country, which is understandable. So we're not going to do that, but we're going to go probably somewhere in Florida, but we just got to decide the place in Florida. So I hope y'all enjoyed my week in the life. I know it was kind of short, but like I said, I'm not good at filming and I think I'm going to start doing this every single week. We'll see. Bye y'all. Now we are watching American Idol, waiting for Will to come on. <laughs> are you excited? <laughs> oh, goodness. How are you? What's up, guys? Come on. I love it. Who are you? I'm Will Mosley. Will Mosley. Where are you from? I'm from Hazelhurst, Georgia. Hazelhurst. Hazel Woody Folsom, right? It's a big city. Yeah. Come on. Did you play yeah. football there? I played uh, college football up at Maryville College right outside of Knoxville. Okay. God, I don't want to get hit by you. Good night.